Hi, Stephen Smith of Art Smith Craftworks. I got another box of goodies to go through. I know we've done this once before. Uh, we, we should do this all the time, right? I've got another box of fun stuff that uh, someone gave me to be used in my sculptures. And it's so much fun going through these things to uh, see what will work uh, with what when I build these airships, what piece and what part I can use for what part on the airship. Uh, why don't you join me and we'll uh, we'll go through another box together. It's almost like Christmas, you know? Okay, so here we are for round two of, uh, of box opening. Uh, this is another box of stuff that I was given that was left in a in a home that some friends of mine bought as a as a flip and there's a lot of stuff here and uh, they don't need all this stuff so they said here go through it see what you can use for your uh, airship builds and so here we are so let's take a look there's gonna be a lot of different things in here some of it I may be able to use maybe some that I may have to re-gift to somebody else we'll see right off the bat we've got some of these flat uh, Christmas ornaments that are meant, you know, for you to like fill with paint or or put other stuff in. They're not the completely round ones, but they're the flat ones. Like I can see some cool things going in there. Maybe some airships in there. That would be awesome. And uh, then we got, let's see, uh, a little frame there. I can see that being kind of punked out a little bit too. So not necessarily something for an airship, but definitely something that we could make something cool out of. Here's something similar, only round. That's pretty cool. This, eh, you don't even really know what that is. That could be a lot of stuff. Maybe some of you looking at this know what this is. I don't really know. It almost looks like almost looks like a some kind of a little display thing or something. But wow, could that have some potential? Look at that. I can see all kinds of fun things happening with that, and these pieces look really neat too. Those almost look like little, little jets, but they could be, they could be fins. They could be, man, all kinds of stuff on an airship. I've, that's got me thinking already about sketching some stuff out, seeing how I could use that. This obviously is a, a little uh, embroidery hoop set, and then we've got. Oh, lots of little jewelry findings here. Some little heart crystals. Some of that I don't know if I, I could use, but these for sure. These little these little jewels. I've used those on the on the nose of my little airship uh, ornaments. Those look really cool. There's some red ones. Here's some other jewelry stuff. Some hearts. Hmm. Not sure quite what I'll do with some of that. Some more beads like some little pastel beads more beads more beads some of these i use on the on the uh, uh metal hangers of, for the gondolas on the airships and they wind up looking kind of cool so maybe that's what i'll use some of those for more more of uh, the little jewels some jump rings some more little jewels some little Classic beads. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Some wooden ones. I do wind up using the wooden ones a lot. Sunglasses. <laughs> Those are groovy. Not really for an airship, but kind of cool. Maybe my wife will wear those. Um, more little frames. Those are kind of neat. Now see, this stuff, I've never really been all that excited about. This plastic canvas stuff. I know that's used a lot for for crafts and yarn and things like that. That's not quite my cup of soup. Um, but I may be able to use some of that for, for something. I could see that being installed in openings and stuff and looking like some kind of a metal mesh if it was sprayed with paint. And here on the sides, there's some great big pieces of that. I may have to re-gift some of that because I'm not quite sure what I would use that for. If you have any suggestions, please comment below and let me know what you think. I would love to hear uh, what ideas you might have for some of the plastic canvas in a steampunk airship mod of some sort. More of the little flat jewels. There's a lot of the, a lot of the jewelry stuff. A lot of beads and jewels and yeah, lots of that kind of stuff, which is cool. Tons of these old Christmas bulbs, man. 
I'm probably giving away my age, but this is all we had when I was a kid. In fact, our Christmas tree, my dad had all blue ones, and they were all these big ones, and they kind of got pretty warm. But those could be kind of neat. Let's see. Some kind of a glass base, although that stem is hollow. I'm not sure if that's... It says, it says Pyrex. I wonder if that's some kind of chemistry paraphernalia or something. I don't know. Some wooden discs. Definitely can use those. Empty plastic shoelaces. And everybody can use shoelaces. An old watch. Not necessarily very steampunk looking. Here's some metal something or another that's got like a little... A little plunger switch in there. I'm not quite sure what that was used for. Maybe a wow. I don't know. Almost looks like it's a piece of a lock mechanism. That almost looks like a hinge attachment. Let me know if you know what that is. I don't for sure. And some little screwdriver ends. A little metal protractor. That's kind of cool. I can use that. All kinds of stuff. Man, just all kinds of odds and ends. Needles for sewing, metal hooks that says Mass TV wire holder. Yeah, that big cabling, man, nobody uses that stuff anymore. Not like that, anyway. Uh, Lego. Lego is always good. Actually, I have a lot of Lego, or I should say my son has a lot of Lego. I uh, should start looking at that and seeing what that's worth. He's almost 20 years old now I doubt that he's gonna play with a whole lot of Lego anymore that looks like a, a pedometer if anybody uh, wants to get in shape let me know more of the little flat jewels more wooden discs all that stuff is useful to me and fluorescent starters hmm those are those have been around for a while look at that package I mean that's pretty old Old GE, 69 cents. That's a deal. I'm not sure what that is unless that was used for somebody to make something woven or string art. Uh, it doesn't really look homemade, but it could be. I'm not sure, but I can think of some ideas uh, for how to use something like that. Uh, some lace trim. Mm, I could see some of that working on a on the fin of a cool, uh, very Victorian looking airship. Here's a bunch of odds and ends, some buttons, some foil, some bottle caps. Some of these bottle caps would be kind of fun to do some stuff with. I've always wanted to cover a tabletop with those and then cover them in that pourable epoxy. That would be neat. That looks like that was some kind of twist tie thing because it's got like a cutter right there. More bead stuff, more bead stuff. Uh, mm, spring sleeves, I'm not sure what those are for. Probably something fishing. I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Hey, these things, these rubber things, you know, they used to grip a lid with, those are pretty handy. I don't know what I will use it for. A couple of books, easy to make wooden toys. Huh. That's got some cool little patterns in it. I'm not sure if I'll use that or re-gift it. Another book, 101 Quality Wooden Toys You Can Make. There you go. If anybody out there has got a use for a really cool book like that, drop me a comment. Some more jewelry pieces. I can see those adorning the nose of an airship, though. That's pretty cool. More plastic canvas. More plastic canvas. Ah, just not sure quite what I'm going to use that for. Jingle bells. Christmas is over, but hey, jingle bells. Uh, uh, cross stitch fabric. Okay. This, I don't really know what that is. Some kind of a, I don't know. Some kind of a, I don't know. How's that for a description? See, more things that make me think this is chemistry. I think that's a Bunsen burner, isn't it? I think that is a Bunsen burner. Hmm. Somebody got a meth lab going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. 
some kind of a reel, but I can see that being something cool on the end of an airship. Uh, Christmas hooks, those could come in handy for airship ornaments. More bead stuff, more jewelry stuff, way more bead stuff. That's the mother load right there. That's a bag of mixed beads if I ever saw one. Holy cow. Holy moly. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. More shoelaces. I won't be uh, worrying about uh, my shoes coming undone, right? These are little styrofoam shapes, so styrofoam hearts. I'm not sure, maybe my wife can use those. My wife does uh, frosted cookies and that kind of stuff for wedding favors and the like, so maybe she can use that in some packaging. These are look like little LED candles. I think we found one of those in the other box when we did the last video. More flat bulbs and some round ones. So it looks like there's lots of crafts to be done with those. Uh, hey, look, googly eyes. Maybe I should put googly eyes on some of the airships, right? <laughs> String of beads. More of those little frames. Man, I just got lots of random stuff here. Uh, uh, for some reason that looks familiar. I can't think of what that is though. Hmm. Again, if anybody knows if they if they recognize some of this stuff from your selected past, uh, another watch. You know, let me know. Oh, look at, woohoo! That's a serious looking little sort of a non-functional little dirty little. Oh, you know what it is? Obviously, it's a microscope, but. I couldn't figure out what it was. It's a pencil sharpener. A microscope pencil sharpener. Another candle, and that just fell over. Cookie sheet. Wow, this is just one random box of stuff. I'll tell you that. Some of that flexible plastic lace stuff for making bracelets and whatnot. More random Christmas bulbs. Those are cool though. I don't know if I could use those for something or if I'm going to have to try to find somebody who can really use them. Ah, here's a jewel. Look at that. A vacuum tube. Those are sweet. I mean, that's kind of a steampunk staple, even though it would be rather anachronistic to use something like that in steampunk. I see it done all the time. This didn't exist during the Victorian era, obviously, but... It certainly has found its way into steampunk art and contraptions. I've seen it hundreds of times. So I'm sure we could figure something else or something out to use that for. Yeah, faucet adapters. I'm sure that could be figured out. Hmm. Ribbons, holiday ribbons. Some of the stuff is not really, you know, up my alley, and then other stuff is. So a lot of it I can use, and some of it I can't. Little mirror squares, you know, anybody got a disco ball they need to repair? <laughs> okay, more mirror pieces. Huh, instant pencil refills. I guess you'd have to have the right pencil for that. I don't know. Not quite sure how I would use that, but I can figure something out. Here's another, oh, it's a stackable tray. That's interesting. Buttons. It's like embroidery flaws, bits of yarn. Ooh, this is kind of a cool piece. That looks like some kind of a burner cap or something. You can see that that's got like little vent holes in it. I wonder if that was a burner out of some kind of heater. That is slick looking. It's already got even a cool little patina going on there. That's neat looking. That's probably one of the coolest pieces in the whole box. I like that. And more jewelry stuff, more jewelry stuff. A little heart-shaped basket. I don't know if it's you know, a little Valentine, whatever. And then just some random little pieces to finish it out here. Metal pieces. That's part of a light of some kind. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It almost looks like a. It almost looks like one of those butterfly clips, but. And that's pretty much it, folks, other than this roll of whatever, what does it say? Grill fabric. Grill fabric. 
Oh, for that's old. That's like uh, it says realistic. That's a Radio Shack. If that's grill fabric, that's meant that that was meant to go like across a speaker and like a console stereo of some kind. That's cool. Wow, some of the stuff you come up with at the last minute, you know, kind of makes the whole box worth something. Interesting. So, so that was this box. Unpacking this box. I'll go through some other ones. I've got other things that people have given me. Thanks for joining me. If you saw something in this box that I didn't know what was, but you do, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.